Hello and good morning and welcome to IELTS lessons. In today's uh, lesson, we're going to study the introduction to IELTS speaking, speaking part one or the interview. This is ideal for those students who have no experience in IELTS and um, they have uh, they wanted to know what IELTS, um, the overview of IELTS, and uh, they may you may want to start with studying the overview of IELTS speaking. So what is uh, IELTS speaking? Uh, part one. So, uh, for your knowledge, IELTS speaking has I mean, is divided into three parts. Uh, there is a speaking part one, speaking part two, and uh, speaking part three. Now, let's begin with the IELTS speaking part one, the interview. Now, this IELTS speaking part one, the interview lasts for about um, about uh, three to four minutes, and. Um, in this part, the first, uh, this first section in IELTS speaking is a simple interview for a test taker's basic information in categories like places, things, events, and people. Now, for example, it asks you the information about uh, your home, your town, your celebrations, and influences in everything, anything, all about you. All right. Since this is a simple interview for um, uh, test takers' basic information, these are some example uh, questions that may ask uh, that that may ask of you. First is um, about places. Second is about uh, questions about things. Third questions about events, and fourth questions about uh, people. Now, for example. Um, during the interview, the examiner may ask, may, might ask you about which place in your hometown where there is a lush garden. So you have to think of uh, a place in your hometown where there is a lush garden. Or um, if the speaking topic for the interview is, oh, is about things, uh, he, the examiner may ask you about about um, about plants. Right? So for example, do you like to receive a plant or a flower as a present? So you have to uh, give your answer if you like to receive a plant or a flower as a present. Yeah. And if the question is under the category events, uh, the examiner may, may ask you about this question. What celebration or celebrations do people use plants or flowers as a present? So what celebration? So is it a birthday? Is it a wedding celebration? Um, is it um, holiday celebrations? So you have to uh, give your answers. And lastly, if the question is under the category people, the examiner might ask you uh, this type of question: Who among in your family loves to grow plants? All right. So um, uh, basically, if the topic is all about uh, uh, all about plants, all the for example, all about plants, all the questions that may ask of you is anything related to plants. And um, anything also that is related to your experiences. Okay, so none of the questions that that are being asked during the speaking part one, the interview, that is not related to your experience. It's all related related to your relevant to your experiences. So the question here is um, <clears throat> how to answer this question. Now the interview or the IELTS speaking part one or the interview is easiest part of the test. Now, during this uh, uh, to practice, right? I'd like you to think of three E's, right? So the first E here is that this is the easiest part of the test. So why is it the easiest part of the test? Because because the questions are all very familiar to you. Again, the questions are all very familiar to you. It asks the questions about the people you know, the object the object you have. Uh, your house, your hometown, your job. So all the questions are very familiar to you. And the next E that you can think of is that all the questions are based on your experiences. It is your story. It is your experience. It is your. Uh, it is your. Um, uh, uh, yeah, your your. It, it is what you know. All right. What what the anything that surrounds you. And lastly, all you need to do is after you think of an answer that is that that um, think of an answer to the question. All you need to do is just to simply expound the answer with one or two sentences. Okay, so you need to be very direct with your answer. No, no need for uh, longer introductions, but be direct with your answer. Be natural and be direct with your answer. 
all right so first is uh, we have an example here which do you eat more often is it rice bread or potatoes of course that is very familiar to us because we eat every day all right and my example answer here is i prefer to eat rice more often that's my answer and then i have to explain one or two sentences because it has been the staple food not only in my country but in my country as well not only in my family but in my country as well also i have been accustomed to eating rice in all meals which includes uh, breakfast lunch and dinner so yes i i prefer to eat more rice than having potatoes or bread all right so easy the answer here um the the thing here in ielts speaking part one is be natural the conversation must be natural it's like you are talking to someone whom you whom you've just met and ask you some basic information about yourself so that is why this is the easiest part of ielts speaking test so um next is um we have to check right what grammar are used here based on the answer so the grammar use here is number one we have the compound complex sentence so i'd like you to use um whenever you use whenever you uh, give your answers in speaking ielts speaking part one try to avoid using simple sentence so there are four types of sentences okay so if you review our grammar lessons uh the the four types of sentences first we have the simple sentence the compound sentence the complex sentence and compound complex sentence all right so during the speaking proper all right so um in the exam in speaking part one there is um uh, initial interview uh, this initial interview asks you about your name right so ask you about your name your candidate number and uh, probably uh, your job and uh, the place you live and after that yeah those are fixed questions and after the fixed questions um the examiner moved to um asking you about the interview proper the speaking proper so it asks you anything about um people about things objects events etc so during this uh, speaking proper all right i'd like you to uh, i mean you need to uh, answer in complex sentences all right not just a simple sentence or simple yes or no answer uh, for example the question we had a while ago was um, do you prefer to eat rice bread or potatoes i prefer to eat rice and then done okay so basically that is not very conversational okay so the goal here in uh, the goal here in a uh, speaking part one uh, though the, this is the easiest one and we have to give uh, the briefest answer but not one simple sentence uh, we have to be very we have to be we have to show that we are conversational we have to show that we we would like to engage in conversation okay and to do that since we want to engage in a conversation we we have to expound a little bit of our answer and uh, for us to expound our answer we need to uh, use um, grammar compound complex sentence all right complex sentence compound sentence uh grammar sometimes you have to use um a wide range of grammar all right so for example here um the we have we use here the compound complex sentence right i prefer to eat rice more often because it has been the staple food not only in my family right but in my country as well so because is a is a coordinate uh, subordinate in conjunction and but is a coordinate in conjunction all right so that is why the sentence here is compound complex sentence the next here is the complex sentence okay because we use here the uh, sub the conjunction which which is a subordinate in conjunction under uh, under uh, um, what is that um, a conjunction we use in uh, making complex sentence so an example here is i have been accustomed to eating rice in all meals which includes breakfast lunch and dinner okay so we use your complex sentence and uh, finally we use your compound complex sentence again all right so we use here a uh, subordinate in conjunction if and and coordinate in conjunction so so apart from this i would always feel satisfied every meal if i take rice compared to taking uh, bread or potatoes for meals so this is why i often eat rice than other type of food like bread and potatoes all right so that's it um and uh, in speaking part one we have uh, a, in our series of lectures and lessons okay uh, we we will be told on some tips and strategies on how to answer speaking part one all right uh, for example 
uh, we need to paraphrase the question and look for synonyms, right? So in our succeeding lessons, in advanced lessons from lesson one, um, lesson one until lesson 36, right? So we will be, uh, uh, you, you will be uh, have a different uh, um, um, lectures on how to answer a speaking part one more effectively, okay? So as of the moment, we only have to deal with the background on how to answer speaking IELTS speaking part one. <coughs> So um, I have here uh, I have here uh, questions okay speaking in part one questions and what I need you to do here is I'd like you to write five sentences all right and uh, I'd like you to use compound sentence complex sentence or compound complex sentence okay so the best way to practice here is to begin first with writing all right so if you don't have any experience in IELTS but you have a background in English language language um, long before. Right, and uh, you have no experience in in IELTS. First, I'd like you to take some small steps, right, and do that small steps every day. Okay. So this time, the initial steps that I'd like you to do is to write example answers to these uh, speaking part one questions here, and you have to write at least three to five sentences. Okay, and you have to use complex sentences. So three to five sentences. One example, one question here is what do you what do you do to stay healthy? So you have to think what do you do to stay healthy? Think of a diet, okay? Think of um, exercise. Think of uh, getting enough sleep. Think of uh, work. Think of um, staying uh, staying overall uh, staying uh, healthy, um, uh, physically healthy or mentally healthy. Or think of an overall physical and mental health that you do. Right, so do you do reading? Do you listen to music, play music. So health here here means not only physical health but also mental health. So that will, that's what we call an overall uh, overall health. Right. Uh, number two is what is a common type of exercise in your country? So you have to think of the common exercise of uh, type of exercise in your country. Is it um, dancing? Is it uh, sports? Is it um, um, like uh, doing a hobby like um, uh, hiking right mountain climbing whatsoever so uh, what could be the common type of exercise in your country so what you need to do here again is to write uh, three sentences to five sentences right in answering these questions all right <clears throat> then um, we have some study tips right so remember that the goal in speaking IELTS speaking is to be conversant okay we need to be conversational right so you should speak more than the examiner this means you have to train yourself to develop your conversational skills all right so as I've said a while ago you cannot you cannot just say yes I like to eat yes I like I prefer to eat rice um, what is the most uh, what is the most popular uh, what is the most common type of exercise in your country it's Zumba and then done Okay, so there is. Um, I mean, if you only answer one single, like one single answer, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't make you. Uh, uh, it doesn't make you show. It doesn't show that you are conversational. Like you're not interested in. You're not interested in conversation. Yeah, you, uh, because in speaking, our goal here is to be interested in conversation. Yeah, that's what we tr we train here in, I in IELTS. We train you to not to just answer like not not just think IELTS as an exam right but think IELTS as a life skill that you can you can use when you go to uh, uh, English speaking countries right and if you are not uh, if you if you don't sound naturally conversational then uh, then um, then uh, it's hard to I think to get your band score and even to survive in an English speaking country right yeah so in here I'd like you to uh, again, practice um, one or two questions a day, okay, in speaking part one, and record your response. You can use your smartphone. Um, by recording, you can you can uh, assess or check or evaluate your mistakes, right? So that can range from the grammar mistakes, pronunciation mistakes, um, vocabulary mistakes, right? And after that, you have to try reaching your response for at least five to ten seconds without long pauses and fillers. Long pauses, like like long silent mode. Okay. 
and the fillers uh, like arms as you know mm, what you call this so those are fillers right and these fillers are not are, are distractors to um, distractors to conversation okay so avoid them <clears throat> and if you cannot answer within this time frame try writing your answer and read it out loud read it out loud all right so by reading out loud out loud you can practice your pronunciation okay you can exercise your uh, your uh, your mouth or um, yes your your chin all right to enunciate the words clearly and the purpose of writing also is uh, writing your answer is to maintain a correct grammar correct organization of your idea and even develop your confidence okay so again I sent you there 300 more than 300 units for IELTS speaking and what you need to do is to begin small steps one at a time okay so start with the speaking part one try to expose in how to uh, expose to different types of questions think of some useful vocabs uh, write your answer and if you have chance all right share your answer to your friend to your partner or even to yourself okay so that's all for uh, introduction to IELTS speaking part one and uh, see you in the next lesson. Thanks and goodbye.